Every 40 seconds in the United States, someone has a stroke, and knowing the signs and symptoms of one can save a life. So we want to bring in News 9's Adriana Daniel. She's live in Wausau with what we need to know during Stroke Awareness Month. Adriana, what can you tell us? Good morning. According to the CDC, only 38% of Americans know the major signs of a stroke and to call 911 immediately. But it's the number one leading cause of death in Americans. And uh, workers here at Aspirus are working to get the information out to as many people as possible. According to Aspirus, 80% of people who have strokes are caused by blood clots, but there is an effective treatment that restores the blood flow in those cases. Patients who receive that treatment within three hours have less disabilities, long-term effects, and then those who delay care. Some symptoms include the body weakening or numbness on one side, problems seeing, severe painful headaches, trouble walking, and trouble speaking. When symptoms like these appear, please call 911 immediately. Anyone at, is at risk for a stroke, but people with the highest risks include those with unhealthy lifestyles, hypertension, smoking, and diabetes. And Adriana, you said that you've got a pretty quick and easy way for everyone to remember what to do when they see signs of a stroke. Can you give it to us? Yeah, Brittany, it's changed a little bit over the years. They've added a new word to it. It's actually be fast now. Each letter meaning something. B standing for balance. Are you having trouble walking? E, your eyes. Are you having trouble seeing out of one or both eyes? F, face. Are you experiencing or someone near you experiencing face drooping? Typically one side of the face. A, your arms, are you unable to lift one side of your body pretty well? S, speech, are you slurring your speech? Are people having trouble hearing you or understanding you? And T, once again, those terrible, terrible headaches. They're not your typical pop and Advil, your good type of headaches. It's severe pain. Now, when any of these symptoms present themselves, please call 911 immediately. Thank you so much, Adriana. Great life-saving advice there. New on Wake Up, a Waukesha woman is heading to court in a fight to keep her flock of chickens. Take a look. <laughs> Amy Manthe says she plans to sue the city following the passage of a new ordinance that limits residents to four to six chickens. Manthe has named all 33 of her chickens, and she says they offer her much more than just eggs. I suffer from a long line of... <laughs> years of anxiety and uh, so here we are they they help really with all my anxiety they're they're amazing they all have their own personalities the chicken ordinance came after an alderman said he'd received complaints but manly says her chickens don't bother anybody and she says that she is willing to take her fight all the way to the supreme court well, happening today, students and teachers are invited to break out their bikes for the season. It's National Bike to School Day. Super fun. Please remember, though, safety first. Wear that helmet. Be extra aware of cars on the road and use those designated bike lanes. You want to make sure, of course, to, your bike chains are greased up and your brakes are working properly before you head out the door. And if you're driving on the road today, please, please, please be cognizant of those riders on the road. We don't want any crashes. And it looks like a nice day for a bike ride or even a drive. I roll down those windows. Yeah. The weather's going to be pretty decent. Storm Track Night Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe will be back to tell us about it. And later on Wake Up, he'll be bringing us his first garden Ooh. goodies of the season. We are very excited. Yeah. You do not want to miss it. Plus, coming up, our coverage continues on a proposed bill that would allow some teens to serve alcohol. How an area restaurant is chiming in. We'll be right back. News 9's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by North Central Technical College. Start your degree at NTC. At Endless Designs, we have many styles to fit your home. Whether you're looking for that next piece to enhance what you already have, or that new wow piece to complete your look, you'll find it here. Fall in love with your home at Endless Designs in Marshfield. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Allie, and this is our family. Are you sick of shopping for big ticket items only to be told you need to order it out and not see it for six months? Or would you rather explore it in person before purchasing it? Stop in Shoulders RV Marine, where we have millions of dollars of campers, boats, power sports, and docks and lifts. If you're thinking of almost anything outdoors, sales, parts, rentals, or service, we'd love you to think of us. Shoulders RV Marine, across from Menards, Rhinelander. When you get Spectrum One, you get fast, reliable internet for $49.99. <laughs> I mean, I could stop right there, but I won't because... 
Surprise! You find out you're also getting free advanced Wi-Fi with Security Shield, which makes it an even better deal. Until another surprise. You find out you're also getting a free line of unlimited mobile with 5G. Amazing! Surprise again. You also get Speed Boost, which makes your Spectrum mobile speeds even faster when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Surprise, it's me. <laughs> That's a lot of surprises. I should just popped out of that. Point is, with Spectrum One, you're gonna be very surprised by all the free stuff you get. Or you would be if I hadn't already just told you. But still, when you get in there, could you act surprised? Well, something for the people in the store. Get Spectrum One, internet for just $49.99, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free line of unlimited mobile. Visit spectrum.com slash surprise, a Spectrum store, or call 844-7-SURPRISE today. Did I hear you're having a feeder sale? Yes. It's our fantastic feeder frenzy for our flying feathered friends. Save 20% on all feeders now through the first week of May. Recycled plastic feeders that last. Hummingbird feeders that won't leak. Easy to clean two feeders that come apart with the push of a button. Wow, all I came in for was one thing. We hear that all the time. Only at Wild Birds Unlimited of Wausau. One person has the power to make a difference in their community. To recognize these selfless individuals, the Jefferson Awards were created. Each month, News 9 honors a local volunteer whose courage, vision, and dedication have made a huge impact on their community. To nominate someone you know for a Jefferson Award today, go to WAOW.com. News 9, we've got you covered. News 9's Jefferson Awards were made possible through a partnership with Sparhawk Trucking. At Endless Designs, we have many styles to fit your home. Whether you're looking for that next piece to enhance what you already have, or that new wow piece to complete your look, you'll find it here. Fall in love with your home at Endless Designs in Marshfield. You're watching Wake Up Wisconsin on News 9 WAOW with Brittany Slaughter, Sadie Fisher, and Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin continues. Welcome back. Well, if you want to head out on the ATV trails, well, you're going to have to wait in some places. Lang Lake County forestry and recreational leaders have delayed trail openings for at least two weeks. Leaders say it's not uncommon to do this, and they're working to determine when trails will be both safe for riders and fit to handle the machinery. But even with a lake closed to snowmobile season, the county knows the gap between those seasons is felt by businesses. It has a huge impact. It brings people here and, and ATVs are more than just recreational now. They've become a secondary form of transportation for anyone that has a cabin to, to people that just come and visit at the motels. They say some trails may be open by Saturday, May 13th, but are unsure when full access will actually be granted. We've got new details on a new bill that could allow high school students to serve you alcohol. The proposed policy would reduce the age requirement to serve alcohol to 14 years old and up. Currently, Wisconsin law only permits those 18 and up to serve alcoholic drinks, which according to bill sponsors is only straining the workforce more and restaurants in our area are in agreement. I think it will be really helpful in all of our workforce area, especially in the restaurant industry to allow everyone, you know, the 14 year olds and up to be able to be more hands on deck. We're all looking for more help at all times. And if they're a responsible young adult, we're happy to have them working here. The bill would allow those 14 and up to serve alcohol to seated customers, not at the bar itself. And it requires a manager or bartender to be there to supervise. Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. We are joined by Storm Track 9 Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowen. It's a bit cloudy out there, but it yeah. sounds like the sun is going to make an yes, appearance. Yes, it'll be okay. Some okay. people are seeing some clouds this morning, others not. Okay. It's a little bit sunny in other areas, but at least we don't have any rain or snow in the That's area. That's very true. We've had plenty of that so far this year here in Wausau. Take a look at these stats of the uh, precipitation. Not any official precipitation yet in May here in Wausau, but for this spring, since March 1st, we are uh, 2.79 inches above normal. And look at for the year, uh, it's almost uh, up to 12 inches, 11 and a half inches of precipitation over four inches above normal. Last year was kind of a wet start to the year and we only had 9.2 inches. Well, going forward, it doesn't look like any major rain or snow heading our way, but some little bits of rain. Today, though, we do have clouds uh, right now over the city, as you see with our Sherrill Tire 
fire and service view, uh, but we look to the west with our plover camera view and there's a lot of blue sky, right? So southern parts of the area, western parts of the area, you're waking up with some nice sunshine. But eventually everyone will see at least some sunshine, even in the northwoods. Uh, one of the uh, stronger wind gusts right now, 13 miles per hour in Eagle River, 13 miles per hour in Wausau, but that's a whole lot better than what we had over the last couple of days. The winds will be much lighter for today. 33 in Rhinelander at this hour, 32 in Anago, so right down near the freezing mark, including Alexander Field there in Wisconsin Rapids. So frosty start, you might need to scrape some of that frost off your car windshield, but look at this, 58 for the high today. 62 is what's normal for this time of year, so getting closer to normal, and over the next couple of days, it will definitely feel more like spring should feel. And we see that on here on our future track that uh, we'll have some clouds drifting through at times today, but uh, overall, it'll be pretty decent and uh, doesn't look like any precipitation. Now, tonight, there is one weak weather system coming down from the north after midnight, maybe a couple of little showers moving on through the area, and tomorrow there's a small chance a shower could pop up at some point uh, during the day or a little isolated thunder shower. But for most of Thursday, it's going to be okay. Uh, we'll see a little bit of sun here and there, and temperatures will be a little warmer. On Friday, a warm front will start to move up from the south, and that is going to produce another chance for a few showers or an isolated storm. And this warm front will continue moving northward into Saturday morning, so a few spots in the northern half of the area to begin the fishing season on Saturday, well, maybe a couple of showers. But overall, it's really not too bad compared to what we've just been through. 58 for today and that north-northwest wind only 10 to 15 miles per hour. So you'll feel the wind a little bit, but it's not as bad. Not as howling as the last couple of days. 40 overnight. Clouds develop, maybe a couple of showers late and tomorrow. Kind of a mix of sun and clouds once again with a high of 65. Yeah, you can take off your jacket tomorrow afternoon with a little southeasterly breeze. There is a chance for a couple of showers on Thursday, but nothing major. On Friday, a little higher chance for a little bit of that rainfall. Uh, but again, not real heavy. 60 for your high on Friday, set, uh, 62 on Saturday. Other than that slight chance of showers early in the day, it should turn partly cloudy, pretty nice out there. And then we'll see uh, the rain increase, the rain chance once again Sunday, uh, late in the day into Monday. But also notice the warm up 67 Sunday, upper 60s on Monday, and feeling like spring on Tuesday, a high near 70 with a slight chance of rain. And here's something might put a smile on your face. Picture of some young fox kits. Yeah, that was down in Amherst. Thanks for sending in that picture. Oh, how cute are those mm. foxes? <laughs> well, your time is now at 645. And later in your top stories, Marshfield residents may be impacted by upcoming road closures due to a new quick trip. But first, Justin, you've got the first treat for this <laughs> season of Garden Yeah, Kings. that's right. And something we've never had on Garden Goodies before. Ooh. So something new for you guys to see. Stay tuned. All right. Cannot wait. We'll be right back. Make sure to stick around. Clean air, water, and nature. What's good for our outdoor environments is also important for our indoor environment. That's why KTEC uses safe, environmentally friendly cleaners and products. Whether we're cleaning your air ducts, carpet, or furnishings, the last thing we want to do is bring in chemicals that might be hazardous to your family, friends, or pets. For over 30 years, our family business has been trusted to keep your home or business clean. KTEC Clean Environments, indoors and outdoors. For over 50 years, Purina Cat Chow has been helping cats feel at home with trusted nutrition. No wonder it's the number one dry cat food in America. <laughs> Come home to Cat Chow. Wanna Leave works all day so I can keep working my magic. Just Wanna Leave, 12 hours of uninterrupted arthritis pain relief. Aleve, who do you take it for? Sue Growing Supply is your local supplier for all your gardening needs. Compost, soils, fertilizers, they've got it all. Stop into their new farm and garden store, open Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30, and Saturday, 8 to 2. 10 minutes from downtown Wausau on County Row W. Are you looking for a new career that provides a future for you and your family? At Sierra Pacific, we understand our greatest strength is the people who choose to build their career with us. From entry level to skilled trades, full or part time, you can become a valued team member and part of a family owned company built on hard work and investing in our employees. With the top notch benefits package and scholarship program, Sierra Pacific is ready to help build your future and your career. Apply today at spi-ind.com. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus. 
designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Before you take your furry friend out for a walk, watch Justin's Dog Walk Forecast every morning on News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin. Plus, we love to see pictures of your pooch. Submit them to weather at waow.com and we'll show them on air. Your Dog Walk Forecast is brought to you locally by Nicolay Law. Injured? Get Nicolay. Watch Storm Track 9's Brad Miller on News 9. I'm News 9's Melissa Langben. Help us celebrate women for their leadership, vision, and achievement. Join us May 18th at the Hilton Garden Inn in Wausau. Hear their inspirational stories and how they've made an impact throughout their community. News 9 is proud to sponsor Women of Vision. Well, it's time. Yes, Yay. we're kicking off the garden goodies season. I'm yes. so excited. You know it's spring when garden goodies are Oh, yeah. Back. That's right. We were going to go out to my garden today, but it was too cold. It's a little, yeah, a little thought, chilly. Oh, what am I going to do out yeah. there in the cold, you know? Right. So we yeah. thought we'd whip up something new that has never been done mm -hmm. here in garden yes. goodies before, and it is mustard. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, you know, in the past we've had the mustard leaves in yeah. salad. Okay. Or we had those greens cut up and put in potato salad. Oh. But I never harvested the seeds. Wow. Yeah. That's Let's take a look cool. here yeah, at okay. some of the pictures of the mustard growing in the garden. Very easy to grow. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, you know, it's a cool season plant, generally speaking, but it grows through the summer in my garden. And it doesn't need any special fertilizer. You know, you just plant the seeds and they grow. And one thing about it, too, is that the mustard plants will reseed themselves. Oh. So they grow up, they produce seeds, the seeds fall to the ground. Next year you've got 50 more mustard plants nice. if, if you want them. They yeah. might be a little bit invasive. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, but then you'll see the pan there where I collected the seeds. Uh, you have Jeez. to kind of take them out of the pods, okay. you know, and kind of blow the seed pods away, mm -hmm. you know, and oh, so it's right. a little bit of a process, mm -hmm. but here you see the final product here. Oh, uh, delicious. I've got a little bit of mustard on the plate there, and I made a couple little sandwich bites for you. You didn't try it yet. You got to try it. We've been wait. warned that it's very up. Uh, so we can smell it right here. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to take it, a little like bit I said, of a pretzel. Yes. It kind of uh, opens up your sinuses when it's very fresh. Ooh. Mm. So I if like it's it. too strong, that's okay. You can say, wow. Ooh, no, it's good. It's, good. it's like a good strong. Okay, yeah. a good yep. strong. Yeah. If and you... the honey is coming through a little bit, but mm -hmm. there's a little bit of spice. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. good job, Justin. Good, good start go. to the year. Well, yes. I made some during the winter with all my seeds, okay. and it turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I'm going to try it here for Garden Goodies right. once again. Yes, look at everything um, he made. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I made a little, a couple little sandwich bites there with the, it's turkey and cheese and mustard and a couple of little rolls, you know, like a hors d'oeuvre type roll. Try the roll. And this is definitely for someone who likes mustard yeah. you know because you, mm. you in the store you can buy some mild type of mustards or Dijon type mm -hmm. mustard but this mm -hmm. is like a strong spicy yeah. honey mustard again you can smell it like I wish we had like scratch and sniff on the TV <laughs> very fresh it like opens up your sinuses mm -hmm. yeah thing. but in a great way oh thank okay. you so thank much, you very Justin. much you're yeah. welcome and this will be on our website so if you want to make your mm -hmm. own definitely mm -hmm. recommend it's so delicious it's a pretty simple recipe yeah cool. pretty easy and we'll be back with your top stories coming up next Excellent. Well, I'm Amazing, Justin. Justin. Keep sending that son of a bitch money. There is a manual that's training these scammers on how to do it. New Dr. Phil. Today at 3, followed by News 9 at 4. Wisconsin weather. One minute it's sunny, the next, severe. Always be prepared for what Mother Nature throws your way. Download the StormTrack 9 weather app today. We track storms. All cars run on used parts. TJ's Truck and Auto Parts is connected to a massive network of over 150 salvage yards. One call gets you access to them all. Save up to 50% or more on quality used parts. Call today. TJ's Truck and Auto Parts. Wisconsin Rapids. For 30 years, the attorneys at Bartels and Pease have been helping injured workers throughout North Central Wisconsin. We're not big city lawyers just passing through. We're part of this community. Chances are we've helped your friends and neighbors. We'd be proud to help you too. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988 24-7. 
24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Breakfast sounds better together, doesn't it? Make it even more special with the hazelnut and cocoa taste of Nutella. Nutella, wake up to wow. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. Hello? Yeah, uh-huh, one sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99, plus they'll give you $200. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me, I just say it. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hello? Here at Ultracom, your U.S. Cellular authorized agent, we believe in delivering the best customer service to every customer, every time. Because at Ultracom, it all begins with you. One person has the power to make a difference in their community. To recognize these selfless individuals, the Jefferson Awards were created. Each month, News 9 honors a local volunteer whose courage, vision, and dedication have made a huge impact on their community. To nominate someone you know for a Jefferson Award today, go to waow.com. News 9, we've got you covered. News 9's Jefferson Awards were made possible through a partnership with Sparhawk Trucking. All cars run on used parts. TJ's Truck and Auto Parts is connected to a massive network of over 150 salvage yards. One call gets you access to them all. Save up to 50% or more on quality used parts. Call today. TJ's Truck and Auto Parts. Wisconsin Rapids. Join Melissa and Brad at 6. Only on News 9 WAOW. Right now, a breaking news alert from News 9 WAOW. Breaking international news this morning, at least nine people have been killed after a student opened fire at an elementary school in Serbia. A government-owned news agency reports eight children were among those killed in the mass shooting. The alleged shooter is a 14-year-old seventh grader. Authorities say the child used his father's gun to fire at students and a security guard. And back in the U.S. in new on Wake Up, gunfire at a TV news station in Memphis, Tennessee on Tuesday. A man is now in custody after police say he fired one round at Fox affiliate WHBQ then ran to a nearby restaurant. Crisis negotiators arrived and the man eventually gave himself up about two hours later. Thankfully, no one was injured and police are still investigating a motive. And new video this morning shows the arrest of a man suspected of killing five of his neighbors, including a nine-year-old boy in Texas. Authorities say they caught 38-year-old Francisco Orpeza hiding in a house under a pile of laundry. Back at home this morning, we're learning Marshfield residents may experience some traffic delays starting next week due to a new Quick Trip store. Starting on Monday, May 8th, city officials say Quick Trip will close McMillan Street at Lincoln Avenue to make utility connections at this new store. The closure is expected to last two weeks. Westbound traffic will be directed to St. Joseph Avenue and Veterans Parkway. And eastbound traffic will be directed to Veterans Parkway and then to Central Avenue. And new on Wake Up, Wisconsin legislators on Tuesday accept the state's share of an opioid settlement. It stems from a multi-state lawsuit accusing drug manufacturers and distributors of contributing to the nation's opioid crisis. Wisconsin is expected to receive more than $324 million, with 30% going to the state and 70% going to county governments. And new details this morning as lawmakers cast their votes for what gets covered in the next state budget. Republicans who control the state budget committee stripping out more than 500 items from Democratic Governor Tony Evers' budget proposal. Everything from a new paid family leave program to legalizing marijuana to tightening gun laws and expanding Medicaid. More spending, more welfare, smoke more weed. Yeah, our approaches are going to be different. We are saying no to universal background checks extreme risk protection orders. The committee, made up of 12 Republicans and four Democrats, will now spend the next several weeks writing its own budget, taking ideas from both Republican lawmakers and the governor. And happening today, area teens looking to earn a paycheck this summer could attend a job fair in Stevens Point. The Boys and Girls Club of Portage County is hosting the second annual Youth Force Summer Job Fair from 2.30 to 5 p.m. at the Burrard Center. There will be on-the-spot interviews and fun activities, including a virtual reality station to experience dozens of different careers.